Hi guys, this is App Unwrapper. I'm playing Deponia. This is a, a point and click adventure. It's comedic. Uh, this is my first time playing, but I'm somewhere in the middle. So I just wanted to show everyone what it's like. Enjoy. Hello, Dr. Gizmo. Yes, what is it? The only thing that hurts is the fact that I'm still trapped in this junkyard. I'm afraid I don't have any medicine for that. Except maybe a word of advice. This. Here is your life. Accepted. So, what's up with Goal? Well, I think it's her implant. It was damaged in the fall. Goal needs to return to Elysium. Very funny. Nothing that lands on Deponia ever returns to Elysium. But then, what's going to happen to her? The mayor decided that she'll stay here with us, in Kulvac. And I think that's a very reasonable decision. In her condition, I wouldn't want her to travel, even if the destination were easier to reach than Elysium. I want to report an emergency. An emergency? What is it? Fire! Impossible! My fire protection sensors would already have detected the emergency. You have built-in fire protection sensors? Yes, ever since you turned eight years old, you little brat. That was my last birthday with my dad. I got a cake. I think I even remember the fireworks. I remember them too. Incredible how much you achieved with just eight candles. No emergency. My bad. If you say so. It sounds too good to be true. Could you leave me alone with her for a moment? No. But... No. Bummer. I'll be back. Wonderful. I can't wait to see you again. Hello, Lottie. You again? <clears throat> you, you again? Do you know where I can make a radio call? You should talk to the operator. You'll find him at the post office. But the post office is closed. Well, I guess in that case, my suggestion was a bit of a whackdown, wasn't it? I'll skedaddle. Don't let the door hit you. Fingers, silent steps. The perpetrator was Rufus. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. He'll never be anything but a slug of bed. This needs an adapter. Small jack to uh, big jackass. <laughs> it doesn't have to be siphoned. I said! Get away from there. The post office will be closed until the clock on the sign is back! I'd rather not. Huh. 
Hello, love. You will get. I'll skip. Don't let the. She advanced me in line, so she'll get a farewell present. Oh, now I've gone and drilled my hand, dumbass. That would be a pure waste of time. This needs an adapter. Small jack to uh, big jackass. <laughs> Um, I think the post office is open. Me, oh my, I think... Yeah, right! You didn't expect that now, did ya? <laughs> no. No, right? <laughs> By the way, I have no idea why Lottie is a guy dressed as a woman trying to be a woman. Um, so far, I don't think it's been explained. So you're probably as puzzled as I am. Uh, hi. Please state your business. I want to place a forwarding request. State the reason for your forwarding request. Well, I'll be living in Elysium in the future. Self-importance error. Where can I make a radio call? Outgoing radio calls can be made from every registered private radio device. Where would I find one of these registered private devices? There is no radio device registered for long distance calls. What's that supposed to mean? It has to be possible to make outgoing calls somehow. Not while using a private radio device. Are there other radio devices registered? There are three registered devices for local calls. One is situated in the mayor's office, another at the front desk counter in the town hall. The communication system of the emergency station is the third one. But it's only possible to make internal calls from there? Well, that's perfect. Are there absolutely no long-distance devices? There are no long-distance devices except the listening post of the post office and the reserve system in the vault. Well, so there are two of them after all. Both devices are not cleared for public use. Damn. I'd like to register a private radio device for long-distance calls. Very well. Where shall the device be installed? Um, Tony's house is located in Grid Square 4, right at the East Tunnel exit. Your order has been placed. The installation of the device will presumably be completed in calendar week 63. What? That's a quarter of a year from now. I'll have long since left Kuvac by then. The installation of the device will take 3.799 months. During this period, your house will be disconnected from the electricity grid and the community's water mains. Ear protection mops for the noise during the nightly drilling are included in the costs. By what means do you wish to pay? Yeah, ah, uh, Tony will pay for me. May I enter the vault? Over the corroded remains of my wrecked body. <laughs> I think I can arrange that. Dude, you're no fun at all. I mean, don't you ever have some fun on your job? Define fun. Oh man, you're hopeless. I'm talking about F-U-N. Like when someone falls into an open sewer right in front of your eyes. Or accidentally sets fire to his own foot. Destruction is fun. Yes, as long as it's not happening to you. 
I like popping the bubbles in bubble wrap. Is that fun, too? Whoa, if you're into that kind of thing. Unfortunately, I only ever need bubble wrap to pad packages that contain smaller objects which have accidentally been put into boxes of postage level 3. And that very rarely ever happens. But when it happens, <laughs> I guess it's party all around, right? <laughs> So you have a thing for bubble wrap? Unfortunately, and that very... What's that scratching noise? Is that coming from behind the hatch? Yes, it's the Postal Service replacement cat scratches you catch. The scratching from behind the hatch matches that of Postal Service replacement cats, exactly? It's the unlatched Postal Service replacement cat's hatch. Wow. Postal Service Replacement Cats. <laughs> That's cute. And quite useful. I have to replace the regular Postal Service Cats when they catch dirt. But don't you have to clean the unlatched Postal Service Replacement Cats hatch? I do have to clean the unlatched Postal Service Replacement Cats hatch, but there's an unmatched catch. So what's the unmatched catch with the unlatched Postal Service Replacement Cats hatch? I have to dispatch the batch of Postal Service Replacement Cats from the unlatched Postal Service Replacement Cats hatch to a latched Postal Service Replacement Cats backup hatch. Holy moly. See you later. So a cat licks the stamps? Well, I hope it knows what it's doing. A bit too slow or a bit too fast and whoops-a-daisy, the package gets the wrong postage. Hamster wheel. Aww, cute and strange. Error, error. All right, suit yourself. Hey, Yoo-Hoo, hello. Hmm, yeah, what's up? How's work? Everything's calm here, except for those strange radio calls from this Cletus or something. I haven't had any work at all this morning. Cletus? That was a call from me. I have to talk to him at once. No chance, Bubba. The radio station is meant for Postal Service's personnel only. You shouldn't even be up here. I have to make an urgent call. Uh-huh. And what, pray tell, has that got to do with me? Well, you're the one with the radio. Keep your hands off. This device is for Postal Service personnel only. You can transmit till you've got foam coming out of your ears if you want to. But you're not using this device. Capiche? Can I transmit now? Not from this device.
Where can I make my call from? Is it local? No, long distance. <laughs> Good luck with that. Besides this device, there's only one reserve system in the vault of the post office. Okay, I'll use the backup system then. You want to break into the vault? I'm beginning to believe what they say about you. You're suffering from a deluded sense of self-importance. What do you mean, suffering? Who's suffering? All right, everyone else is suffering from your deluded sense of self-importance. Heh, <laughs> that's more like it. Where can I make my call from? Is it local? No, long distance. Huh, <laughs> good luck with that. Besides this device, there's only one reserve system in the vault of the post office. Okay, I'll use the backup system then. You want to break into the vault? I'm beginning to believe what they say about you. You're... What are... Heh. <laughs> Don't you get tired at some point? <laughs> You're messing with me, right? This is Kuvac. I'm as chilled out as can be. What? Pray tell? Should wear me out here? Well, uh, maybe looking that stupid? Well, can I at least borrow your headphones? Are you mad? I need those for work. Nice pigeons. Our messenger pigeons? Yeah, those are magnificent creatures, aren't they? <laughs> if you like contagious diseases. Did you know they take their bearings from the planet's magnetic field? Really? How do you know? I once tied strong electromagnets around their necks. The fools immediately flew the wrong way. Is that so? <laughs> Yeah, straight towards this rusty mountain of metal over there. <laughs> You're not too busy up here, are you? I'll be going then. You do that. You shouldn't be here anyway. I totally agree. <laughs> Honey, we're out of pigeon food. Error, error. All right, suit yourself. This needs an adapter. Small jack to uh, big jackass. <laughs>
I'm as deadly as a poison dart frog, but much cooler. A poison dart... Hmm, the funnel would make an excellent blowpipe. In. Terrific. The rotten smell from Sector 9 isn't so disgusting today. I said hands off. Yeah, but you always say stuff. Take your feet off the table. Don't let wild predators loosen the apartment. Send medicine to Grandma. But I can't do everything at once. A and look, you don't see my feet anywhere near a tabletop, do you? Ah! Stay calm, Tony. Stay calm. Take a deep breath. Ow! What the... A dart? Arr! A little longer, Arr! and uh, what am I getting mad at anyway? Strike! Hey, Tony, I'll just grab a couple of these vouchers, okay? And while we're at it, can you do the dishes this week? <laughs> I like Tony much better this way. <laughs> I was beginning to fear that her body had adapted to tranquilizers. <laughs> Oh, uh, by the way, I used your family pictures to insulate a weather balloon. Just, um, just, just a moment. What? Uh. Did you mention weather balloons? No, no, no. I said uh, vouchers. Will, will you look at those, those nifty vouchers? <laughs> Keep your hands off. I counted them. I've got these gift vouchers from Tony's shop. Gift vouchers verified. One light lead weight from storeroom one. Supply your address now. Where, where, where to? I mean, what? I, I, I don't know. That's a good question. Address verified. What? Dispatch initiated. Postage being scanned. Postage correct. One light package for dispatch. Pigeon from small pigeon hole is being dispatched. I've got these gift vouchers from Tony's shop. Gift vouchers verified. One light supply. Post. Pigeon from small pigeon hole is being dispatched. Thank you. 
He's gone. Well, never mind. A gadget that manipulates. Oh, this could have been my idea. A gadget that manipulates the planet's magnetic field. Oh, this could have been my idea. I've got these gift vouchers from Tony's shop. Gift vouchers verified. One light lead wick from storeroom one. Supply your address now. Where, where, where to? I mean, what? I, I, I don't know. That's a good question. Address verified. What? Dispatch initiated. Postage being scanned. Postage correct. One light package for dispatch. Pigeon from small pigeon hole is being dispatched. Well, the pigeons get their bearings from the planet's magnetic field, right? So, let's see what happens if I start fiddling with this a bit. <laughs> I love to play God. I'll leave it like this for now.
I'll leave it like this for now. Maybe this helps. I'll leave it like this for now. Maybe this helps. Hi guys, I'm going to take a break for now, but thanks for tuning in for Deponia. Uh, if you enjoyed this, please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time.